Look how shiny this turned out. I put just one layer of polycrylic on here um, in the gloss version. It brought the colors out really beautifully. I can get them in the light a little bit. Um, but it really, really looked nice. I still have, I just wanted to get one layer on here, one nice layer before I start doing something, putting the, the numbers on here. And on the other side, which of course you know I can't really get this at all with my other hand. Um, I also put a layer of polycrylic on this and it almost evened out. I put a nice thick layer. It almost evened out all of these cracks in the middle. So I'm still able to maintain things like, you know, these things that are affected by the cracks. Like this, this is a crack right here, this color, and I like that. Um, so it cracked here and spread apart. So I like the cracks. I still have a little bit of touch up to do on the sides. See? Yeah. Ow, ow. So there's still some touch ups going on on the sides here. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. But um, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to now figure out how I'm going to do the numbers. And once that's accomplished, I have actually another project to film. A it really did turn out great. I can't wait to see how this looks when it's completely finished with the numbers and everything. All right, here we go. This is not going to be very interesting, so I will be fast forwarding through most of this. Anytime you do this, you create a hole in the seal around your piece. So you have to make sure to seal it up again, which isn't really a difficult thing to do. Um, and you can, of course, leave the drips if you want. I personally don't want them on my edges right now. Uh, there will probably be some later that I will be perfectly fine with. But I am not perfectly fine. Oof. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen with these. So, the next time I do a pour of the polycrylic over the top of this piece, I am going to stay nearby as it drips off the sides and make sure that I don't get any runs. Just by running my hand, you know, running a finger around it every so often. Um, I do that a lot with my pendants so I don't get too many drippies that I have to trim off uh, because they will dry like that and uh, sometimes it looks cool and sometimes it doesn't no. <laughs> so. Okay, I'd say the back is ready. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to leave my dioxazine purple um, on the desk here because I will probably do another touch up before I do a final here. And then I'm going to do something. Let's see if I can get all these little pieces of uh, trim off of here. That's good. All right. I know we've got a little bit of wet spots here, but this is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to open my little teeny tiny thingy of polycrylic. Mm.
All right, well, that's the second coat. You'll see how heavy it is. I did that um, for a reason. Oops. And this should kind of work its way into the middle again. And hopefully it will fill in those cracks even more. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry and I am going to work on another project. Um, so the fan that you've been hearing in the background the entire time, yeah, that's where this is going, right in front of the fan. So back when this is dry. The sun is shining in here right now, and I wanted you to get an idea of what this is going to look like in the sun. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Considering that this is going to be outside, I think it's probably going to see quite a bit of sun. <laughs> so um, I'm only going to block off bits of it with the numbers, and I'm going to take the numbers down here. They're just made out of cardstock. I sketched them out myself, and then I just cut the cardstock out. I'm going to go around and uh, erase these little lines from uh, where I was sketching. Uh, and then I'm actually just going to glue them down. And then I'm going to cover the entire thing, the entire... Um, the toilet seat in polycrylic at least two to three more times maybe even four because this is going to be an outside project and, and I don't, don't want the water getting in to the project so that's gonna be the next thing we do all right so I am going to finish now um, this toilet seat project that I started uh, quite a while ago and I'm really looking forward to finally getting it finished um, what I decided to do was to create my own numbers. So I kind of sketched these out on just some cardstock. This is the color of the cardstock. I thought it would stand out nice um, for the house number. I'm not going to show you all the numbers. I'm just going to show you my one. I'm not going to show you how I put the one down. <laughs> all right. So I made sure all the pencil marks were all of it, off of it. I just really need to get this to stick. They're going to kind of go down like this. So I just really need to get it to stick long enough for me to be able to put several more coats of polycrylic across it. So um, that will definitely keep it safe. So I'm just going to use a clear tacky glue to, um, to put it down. And uh, all I'm really doing is putting like um, a stream down the middle of each little section and then I'm just now I'm not going to bother with the spreading it out I know most people spread it out but oh, Michelle and her devil may care attitude um, I'm going to press it so that any excess comes out the side right down the middle See? See, there's a little excess there. A little excess, a little excess. Not a big deal. I just don't want to have a whole lot of excess in this. This one didn't get enough. So, put a little bit more here. Oops, I forgot to leave this turned upside down like I usually do. Alright, that should keep that down. Because you definitely want to be able to keep the little twirlies and things down because they're the things that are most likely to come up um, when you're putting the polycrylic over it so make sure your little twirlies are all down so there we go there's my one yeah here let me see if I can do this and you can uh, see there's my number one so I'm going to do my other house numbers they're like I said they're gonna go down there diagonally and when I am finished with all of that, then I'm going to cover the entire thing in polycrylic. Um, going to go with gloss again. Um, this is almost empty, but I have another container, thankfully. So, a um, couple coats of that, and then I will give you a fuzzed out picture of uh, the final product when it actually does get hung up if my hand, my left hand, ever decides that it can heal enough to hold anything for like 
you know, a couple seconds. <laughs> so, um, this will be the end of the toilet seat project. Keep uh, an eye out for this getting hung on the fence. Uh, I will post a picture of that on my Instagram. And uh, thanks a lot for joining me for this project because it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm really proud of how my toilet seat came out. <laughs> and I love my toilet seat irises. So I will love them every time I walk out there to put the garbage out. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, yeah. And I like the kind of, the font is me. So, uh, I, I think this is going to work out great. And, uh, I'll be happy to show you a version of the final project when it gets hung up. And that might not happen for a little while because it's freezing and the wind will not stop around here right now. So the last thing I want to do is go out and hang up something in the freezing cold with owie hands. So no. Um, but this might be a good spring garden project. You might see it around then. We'll see. So that's it from Surviving a Creative Life for today. Hope you all have a lovely one, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!